Hello Splatoon 3, we need to talk. I am not mad. In fact, I am proud of what you have achieved in Splatoon 3. However, there is one big elephant in the room we need to address. Try color battles. I can speak of the gameplay issues of this mode. However, I think the gameplay itself is fine. Both sides have their own pros and cons, and it is something that will most likely get changed as we get more maps and systems by the time we get our next platform. Rather, I wish to talk about technical issues. Now if you did not play the Splatfest World of Premiere, or unaware, tri-color battles are available after the halftime of a Splatfest. When a tri-color battle occurs, the team that is currently in the lead will be the defenders, and will be a team of four in between the other two attacking teams, who have only two players apiece. While it's fun in theory, this game mode came with many, many faults. First, the currently winning team cannot choose standard open battles anymore. They must choose tricolor battles and hope for a standard open battle. While this may not seem too bad, tricolor battles are unable to be 10 times or 100 times battles. And with more people needed from the defending team for tricolor battles, the chance of them getting a standard open battle is very, very slim. Now let's talk about the clout distribution after the match. And oh boy, this one is bad. Full disclosure here though, I was on Team Rock, so I was unable to know exactly what it was like for the defenders. The only information I have for the Defender's Clout gain is only from secondhand information. So if I get anything wrong here, please correct me in the comments below. Now then, if either of the attackers win, the attacking team with the most points will get 6,000 Clout, and the other attacking team will get 5,000 Clout apiece. The other attacking team does not even need to get second place, by the way. They just need to ensure that the defenders lose. The attackers will now get bonus clout as well, depending on how the game goes. If you touch the ultra single at all, even if you lose it, you will gain 900 clout. And if either you or the, your teammate obtains the ultra single, you will gain 2,500 clout. And the best part is, these bonuses do not go away if you lose the match either. You can earn 3,400 clout for a loss. Did you get that? You can earn 3,400 clout just by losing. Now if you add up all the bonuses, the maximum amount of clout a single attacking player can earn in tricolor battle is 9,400 clout. And since there are two players per team, a single attacking team can earn 18,800 clout. <laughs> oh boy. Now let us calculate the defending team's clout if they win. Each defending player can earn 2,500 clout for winning a defense battle. That is it. No bonuses at all. That is it. And since there are four defending players, a single defending team can earn 10,000 clout for winning. This means for each loss the defending team has, they must win two times in order to offset the gain of the attacking team or a 66% win rate. 
This is insane. This platoon really needs to figure out these technical issues before the next Blatfest. Thankfully, the next Blatfest is a long ways away from now with no inherent date. So the Squid Lab team have plenty of time to work out all these little kinks. Now, thank you for listening to my little mathematical rant. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.